<laughs> oh, hey. Um, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Hi. Whoa, would you look at the time? It's been um, three months since my last upload on YouTube and um, a lot has happened since. I clearly needed a break. Was it planned? Partially. Did I expect to be gone for three whole months? No. We're gonna get into all of what's been going on and what's happening with this crazy brain of mine. And we're also gonna do some hair color. It's not just gonna be me complaining. I do have a lot of like positive things that have happened and I also have some new things to show you. Sharing my feelings to all of you, pretending you're my therapist for me for today and doing hair color at the same time. But yeah! Oh! It feels kind of normal actually to be, to be back. I thought this would be a little more like, oh my god, how do I film a YouTube video? It's been three months. No, I actually feel f normal as hell. It actually feels like I didn't miss a beat. It was like, boom, I'm back. Wait, don't go anywhere. I'm scared to go get my, my client for today because I don't want you to go anywhere. Just hold, just wait for me. Wait for me! <laughs> no, seriously, wait. Don't f click off the video. Here's the first thing that's different. I got a new tripod. Do you remember all the times I had to bang the head on the tripod? I mean, I still have to do that, but this one's just a little more bougie. I'm also like not dressed really from here down. Like I just did the top part. I can't be bothered with the pants situation. So I'm just wearing like dirty sweatpants. While I was gone, I definitely noticed a lot of you asking where I was. I saw a lot of like, Bob, what happened? Where are you? What's going on? Like, yo, what's up? And I appreciate it. I was fine for the most part, but we'll get into that. What I didn't see, <coughs> <laughs> was a lot of concern about Miss Manny Quinn. Miss Manny Quinn has been a gone for a long time as well. I did not see any comments about it, but guess what? I'm not gonna be an asshole and tell her that, you know? But hopefully, even though you didn't express it in words, you were missing Miss Manny Quinn too, because she also matters. And guess who we have today? Let's give her a round of applause. And what's in that Oh my god, you look bad. You have been definitely in the closet for three months. It ain't looking good. It looking crusty. Like what happened? <laughs> it's concerning to say the least. You want to know all the tea about what I've been doing while I was gone? Well, we're gonna start with something positive and we'll get into some more like meh stuff later. You know, because with the good comes the bad and with the bad comes the good and the good and the bad and the good and bad and they, they marry each other and they love each other. But I'm so excited excited about the first thing. I have five new colors that just came out. <laughs> these colors are literally me. Like just if I had a colors, these would be my colors. I mean, that's what I say about like everything when I release it because I'm always really excited for new things and I love newness. But these guys, oh my God. We have one color, it's called Rotolite. That is literally the color of this table. It is so bright pink. It makes my eyes like go like this because I can't even. Like I'm like trying to look at it and it's like But these are all of our jewel tone colors. So that means they are vibrant. They are bright. They are nearly neon without being neon. I love neon colors, but I also love a super, super pigmented, like non-neon color, if you know what I mean. But you're gonna see all, you're gonna see it all today with these. I actually don't even know what I'm gonna do on her. I was thinking that I would just come on here today and just make up a pattern, do some crazy shit. Use all five colors on her head. I don't know, just have fun with it because listen, I need a moment to like have fun today. I was like imagining things when I press record on the camera, my mind just started being like, and I started thinking of things, thinking of ideas and patterns I could do that are like new to me. Not new, but like different. I think I have a plan. Oh my God. Okay. I think I have a plan. I think I have a plan. I think I have a plan. Should I do light on the top or dark on the top? Mm, that's the question I want to know right now. Do I do dark on the light and the light and the dark and the dark on the light? The dark on the light and the light and the dark on the dark on I don't know. Middle part. This is what I'm about to do and nobody can f with me with this. I'll show you the parting later. I can't explain right now. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's one side, right? It's a zigzag. It's like, it doesn't need to be that clean, okay? It's just a zigzag. It's not a big deal, okay? Just, please just back off of my zigzags. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm sectioning out the underneath of the hair. The zigzag. Well, the smart thing for me to do would have been to plan out the look before I started filming, but God, something about planning and me just don't go together. Great. First off, let me tell you about the colors. We have Garnet. Oh God, a literal dazzling, brighter version of like super purple or berry color. We also have Rotolite, which is my favorite. I told you about it earlier. It's like the color of this table, like the center of the color of the table. It is so 
bright pink. It is almost neon. This one, amethyst. Amethyst is another purple, but it's more like that really, really cool tone purple. It is super, super bright, obviously, but it is that sexy, cool tone, extremely almost neon purple vibe. Amber is a red orange. So you're still getting that red sexy vibe that everybody likes, but it's even more like fiery, flamey. Like you're seeing more of the ends of the flames, the fire in this, you know what I mean? Like it's that orange, yellow, red sexiness. And then lastly, we have Sapphire, which is a blue and it is the most intense royal blue, but then turn up 10 notches type of vibe. Like it is so deep blue and luxurious and rich looking. Mm. And obviously with X amount of color in every single color, you're getting bond builder, you're getting oils, you're getting proteins, you're getting intense amounts of shine. It is a conditioning treatment. It is so good for your hair. It is not doing any damage to your hair. It's going to make it only feel better and look better. The whole goal of X amount of color is to make your hair look and feel better post coloring. And that is exactly what we do. You're going to see this hair shine and glisten and look so sexy and bright once I'm done. And I make my color super easy to use. You can use it right out of the tub. You do not need a bowl to mix it in or anything. Thing. It is super easy. So let's dip her in here. Watch how bright this is about to be. Oh, oh, oh baby. It's like ink blue. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it is so dark. It's like deep and luxurious for a blue. I wanted to create something that was just gonna be like, yeah. I'm gonna start off painting a few of these roots and I'll be back to tell you more about my life while I've been gone from social media. Maybe get into some more juicy stuff rather than just a new product launch, huh? What do you think? I'm painting this away from her face. That way, when I pull the hair down, it has sort of a gradient. It's not like one harsh line where I stopped painting the blue and it's more blended this way. That's because I'm over directing the hair. Think about it as adding like diffusion to the color. Oh my God. It's so hard to work on mannequins, I swear. It's not me, it's them. Ah, this color is gorgeous. Sorry, <clears throat> I mean, this color is gorgeous. Ugh. It's looking blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's talk about why I took a little break, poo. So basically, what happened was that your boy Brad got extremely burnt out. I think it's just like being sort of in the public eye at any capacity. It gets a little interesting sometimes. It gets tough when people have opinions about you constantly and uh, you, you're just trying to, trying to like live up to the expectations of yourself. I felt like I was just stagnant in my career. Like I feel like I had achieved a lot. I want to get to the next level. I've always been big with achievements, right? Like I love winning things, awards. I love creating product lines. I love being an entrepreneur. I love being a YouTuber. I love being on TikTok and doing all these things and achieving so much. I guess I thought I did. As I've gotten older and a little bit wiser, I started noticing that a lot of the things I was achieving didn't actually make me happy or fulfilled. They weren't adding anything to my life. It was just like I would achieve it I would check that off and be like cool so like what's next how can I do more and it was kind of an endless cycle of like what's next what's next what's next like let me do more let me do more and I was like I just need a second to really think about why why am I doing all this who is this for it's it's clearly not for me so who the fuck else is it for because I'm the only bitch here and I don't want to just do things for the money or the fame or the notoriety like I want to do do things because they make me happy and make me feel fulfilled. Three months ago, YouTube and social media in general just were not doing it for me. It was making me miserable. Um, yeah, so I was kind of like depressed. And every time I had to film, I literally just wanted to die. Like I hated my life so much. And it's it's probably surprising for you to hear that because I, I'm very like happy online and positive and it's like always fun when you watch me, but secretly, you know, it's not that fun for me. The years, honestly, I would say. It, it was a couple years at least where I was like, this sucks. And obviously I, I always hesitate to put these things online where I'm complaining about my career because I like live an amazing life and the job I have is easy in a lot of people's eyes or I'm well compensated for the job that I do, I would, I would say. But no matter your circumstances, no matter how good your life seems or how much money you make or how much you work, you know, your life can still suck in your eyes. So I just wasn't happy. And I decided that I was going to take a month off. I was like, this is it. I'm just gonna do like a month 
um, it'll be fun. Like I will, I'll, I'll get to know myself a little bit better. I'll try new things. I'll work more on the other side of the business, which is Ex Mondo and achieve more there. And maybe I'll get more fulfillment from that than I do off social media. Cause at one point I was just, I felt like I was forced to creating the content that I didn't want to create because I don't want to upload videos and like have nobody watch it. That's kind of the whole point of me uploading is to entertain you and to also have fun for me, but like mostly to entertain you. And, and if I'm not entertaining you and I'm not doing my job properly, Properly, that doesn't really make me satisfied either. So I had to create this content that I feel like just wasn't me and, and I didn't want to be creating. So I took the months off. Didn't think I'd actually be posting a new YouTube video ever again. I thought I'd be gone forever. But what happened in the meantime was I started doing more TikTok, being on Instagram and doing more of the business. And then I was like, fuck. I miss YouTube. I miss long form content. I miss you guys. I miss being able to speak for long periods of time and share more about my life than just like a, a clickbait f monologue about what happened in my day on TikTok. You know, I, I miss this exactly what I'm doing right now. I, I, I really found that I, I actually really valued this. I love this outlet, being able to talk to all of you and such a personal level and have you listen to me for more than 60 seconds or 30 seconds. So I decided that I was just gonna come back and that maybe this is actually what brings me happiness. This is enjoyable. I just needed a break. Like, I don't think it was the circumstance. I think it was just the fact that I was burnt out. I don't think it's about YouTube. I don't think it's about social media. I don't think it's about my job in general. I think it was just the fact that I needed a break. Something about me is that like, I don't take breaks. Again, I like achieving, I like doing things, I like being busy. This was one of those things that was really scary. There's income that comes from YouTube. And if I just stop posting, I don't get that anymore. So I basically quit my job for three months. That was really scary for me. In hindsight, I'm very proud of myself for doing it. It's something I've thought about for years. And now I just feel like empowered to take another break if I want. I don't even know guys if I'm, if I'm like back. I don't know what this channel is gonna be like. I hope you'll follow me on my journey, but I just, I wanna do things that make me happy. Still don't know what that is at age 28. We're getting somewhere and we're getting something somewhere with this too. Um, it's hot in here. I'm wearing like 45 layers of clothes. I don't know why. It's for the look, I guess. We applied the sapphire. It is looking bright. So uh, if her hair looks a little different to you right now, uh, that's because I forgot to press record when I was doing the next color. Anyways, welcome back, Brad, to YouTube, where things don't get recorded and you gotta re-record them again and again and again and pretend that it never happened. And I took my jacket off because I was sweating my balls off. What I did was I opened up Garnet, which is this dazzling purple color, and I applied it to the midsections of her hair. I blended it into the sapphire, and I took it in sections like this, and I just boop, 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 doo, 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 blend, blend, blend. And then other than that, I was really just complaining about life again. Actually, I wasn't complaining. I think I was being happy. Up next, I'm gonna put on my favorite color of this whole collection, Rotolite. And we're gonna go on the ends and paint them pinky pink. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Oh my god. And I'm gonna blend this into the previous color, the Garnet. The only way I can describe these colors is like they're literally gemstones, slash, like the inkiest, deepest version of like any color that we have. They have so much depth and vibrancy to them. The difference between these colors and our super colors is that our super colors are like the kind of most vibrant versions of primary colors um, and then some, and we wanted these to be like a fantasy collection. But with our super colors, you can mix them up to make new colors. You can do all sorts of things. These ones aren't so much as made for mixing. These are really made to go straight on the hair as they come out of the jar. But feel free to mix them and do whatever you want with them. You are the artist. Anyways, so the other things I've been working on since I've been gone is Actually, there's one thing that I like can't really talk about, but I want to talk about a little bit, but I can't really talk about it. It's just so annoying. I hate when people do that, but like it has been like a big thing that I've been doing while I've been gone, but I also can't talk about it. But like, I just might as well just say something because you might see something happen sooner rather than later about this topic that I can't talk about. So I've been filming something or I filmed something, something that will give you more of a glimpse into my life, hopefully, and who I am and and what's going on in this crazy, scary brain online is And this color combination is literally 
impaling me right now in a good way. Holy hell, this is gonna be one of the most magical color jobs I've ever done. Um, but yeah, I was filming something exciting that has to do with my life off of social media, and there's a lot of different things you'll never haven't seen before about me. And yeah, I'm excited to show that part of me to people in a different format than YouTube. I also went to Turks and Caicos while I was gone, and Miami. Listen, I know this is gonna be like some dumb that you're about to hear that is totally unrelatable. I realized that I'm very fortunate. I went to this like private island off of Turks and Caicos. Like Turks and Caicos is already beautiful, but imagine there's like 10, excuse me? Guys, when I tell you we were literally just secluded, it was the ultimate seclusion. <laughs> My friend and I were like literally the only people on this island and it was like untouched. It was the most beautiful sand, the most beautiful beaches I have ever seen in my life. The experience was just like magical. I started off my kind of break with that. Let me just do nothing, be nothing, not post on social media while I'm here. And that's exactly what I did. I'm about to do some really crazy shit. And I don't know if it's gonna look good, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. And I just wanna have fun. I'm gonna do it. If it looks bad, nobody's gonna talk about it ever again. We're gonna go with amber now. We're not just gonna do like a little amber, okay? We're gonna do this entire panel on both sides. And then we're gonna have a little veil of another color on top. I think pink. And I'm just gonna go with my gut and it's telling me to just do the amber. Do the amber, baby. It's a new dance, the amber. It goes like this. Why do I have to zigzag part this shit? Like why? Just making a mess. Why do I like to do things that make things harder for me? So yeah, I went to this private island, found my life, had a lot of fun with my friend, and got in like a really great relaxing moment. And um, I realized that I actually really needed that. I also went to Ultra in Miami. Any EDM fans out there, hello. I see you and I hope you see me too because I love myself some good dance music. Like, oh my God, I can dance my mother off to some EDM and I loved it. But here's the moment. The story I'm about to tell you definitely taught me a lot of life lessons. So the first day I went to Ultra, and if you don't know what Ultra is, tens of thousands of people in this one place. Everybody's on top of each other dancing in the heat, and it's a good ass time, right? And usually the rave community is all about plur, peace, love, unity, and respect. Okay, so nobody gets hurt, nobody gets their sh stolen, if you know where I'm going with the story now. So the first day I'm there, I'm dancing in this crowd. My friend and I are dancing. We're bopping around. This is only like a week ago, by the way, so like I was full on like social media break living my best life. I was also very sick. We're dancing, we're moving, we're sweating, we're drenched. Imagine that song, sweat drip down my bows. That song, like that was me. And it's hot as hell, but it's fun. And I am living for this set. I'm at Eric Pritz. I'm having just an amazing time with my bestie and my other bestie and my other other bestie. All of a sudden my friend's like, okay, I need to get out of this crowd. Like I'm sweating to death. Like I hate this. <laughs> it was tiring, I will say. And it was hot and she was getting a little anxious. And so I was like, okay, bye. She texts me about 30 seconds later and is like, I got my wallet stolen. And I was like, girl, come on. Like we're literally, we've been here for four hours. How did you already get your wallet stolen? I just think it's very typical of her. I told her that. I was like, it's very typical of you to get your wallet stolen. I don't know why. I mean, not like she's ever gotten her wallet stolen before, but I don't know. It just seemed like very upper alley and like just something she would do. And I was like, oh God, whatever. Like we'll figure it out. There's nothing we can do now. Like, let's just leave it. We'll deal with that later, girl. No bad vibes tonight. She's like, okay. Fair, I got that, let's do it. And so we did. And then we went back to our hotel and I um, reached inside my pocket to get my key card to get into the room. And guess what mother doesn't have a wallet in his pocket anymore? Me. So somebody out there, hi. If you're watching, you have my wallet and I want it back. Actually, I don't even care anymore. I got everything replaced. Honestly, what's the point of stealing a wallet? Like you didn't get to use my cards. Like I just deactivated them. If you forget your shit stolen, guys, freeze your cards. Don't be stupid. But the story gets crazier. So I'm like, Shit. I don't have a wallet, I don't have cards, I don't have an ID. Everything was in there, so I don't have anything. You know, Apple Pay's not working because my cards are deactivated. Couldn't really get into clubs because I didn't have an ID and uh, or a passport or anything. So in the middle of the situation, I do say to myself, the next morning, my friend comes over and he doesn't notice until he literally gets to my hotel. His wallet is also stolen! That's three for three. So all of us got our wallets stolen that weekend. And um, they were never to be seen again. But what I was gonna say is that it taught me a good life lesson. That 
night that I lost my wallet, I had a decision to make, right? It was like, should I be upset about this or should I just let it go and have a good weekend and like enjoy my trip? And I decided, yeah, I'm just gonna let it go. Any bad situation can be looked at as a good situation. I was like, what if I ended up somewhere tonight that was sketchy and that I shouldn't have been at and that like I would have gotten f kidnapped? I don't know. Like what if something really bad happened because of having my ID or having my wallet. Um, you never know what could have happened. So I was just grateful that I lost my wallet. I was grateful that somebody took it. I feel like it was just meant to be like that and I was vibing with it. So I actually felt really good about the whole situation. I was happy somebody took it. I lived my best life and I got home. That's the life lesson it taught me to just like be more chill about shit and make sure you know where your belongings are at all times, <laughs> which I thought I did, but apparently not. Um, but every bad situation can be looked at as a good situation. I'm really trying to tell a story right now while I'm coloring hair and it's like not working. I forgot how hard it was to entertain and do color at the same time. I'm almost done applying the amber, but once I am officially done, I'll be back to show you and we'll start on the rotolite on the next section. And that is my favorite color, so don't miss out. All right, we're on to my favorite color again, rotolite. And we're gonna do this entire top section, well, besides the bangs, all with mother rotolite. And it's going to be literally stunning with the combination of the amber. Amber and rotolite the combination like guys get ready for your fucking socks to be blown off just like you're literally just gonna be sitting at home watching this and your socks are just gonna go flying off of your feet. What other things can I tell you? Like I, I was gonna talk about my dating life, but I don't have one. I'm not even kidding. For like three months, I just haven't been dating anybody. Oh God, apps are just so difficult. Maybe I make it difficult. I don't know. I gotta have a better attitude with it. Dating apps are a struggle because you either match with people and they don't message you back or you match with somebody and it's like, oops, like, I don't know if I'm into you actually. I and mean, then I don't answer that. Um, and then I feel bad and I'm like, why am I even here if I'm not gonna answer the people who message me back? It's so rude. And then they do it to me and it's like, damn, like, am I ever gonna meet somebody on these f apps? Like, ugh. And then I'm also like too shy to like go up to somebody in person. I just don't feel like it, okay? I do a lot of growth in other places. I just don't wanna be the one who goes up to somebody. Can not everybody just hit on me? Like, why can't I just be the one who's getting hit on? So yeah, my dating life is just like not dating. That's the tea with that. No! I just colored my shirt. <sighs> Uh, ah, look at the color on my shirt. Why, why? I am getting obsessed with this creation that is going on here. I just know this is gonna look fire. Like you best bet, this is going to be incredibly gorgeous. Yeah, I can't wait to blow dry it and style it and show you the vibes. Hopefully, I didn't miss any pieces. I'm on to the last color in the last section. Getting a little tired, telling a lot of stories and doing a lot of hair color here. I made a list of other things I was doing while I was gone. I think I said most of them, but I met a lot of new friends. If you want to meet new friends, stop being a YouTuber for three months. It's my life advice. Um, we're going with Amethyst on uh, the bangs. This is now our top seller, by the way. Everybody loves a good deep purple. Um, I've also been picking up new hobbies like golfing. Well, that's actually an old hobby that I used to do that I don't do anymore, but I, now I do again. Also, I've been um, hiking. I love nature. Something about me that you might be shocked about is I love nature. I love being outside and I love a good day. You know, like a beautiful sunshiny day. I've been just really trying to meet more people and spend more time with people, which has been nice. Cause usually YouTube takes up a lot of time. Oh, I did gymnastics again. I was a gymnast as a kid, fun fact, and I still got it. I learned that I can still do back handsprings, back tucks, fulls. Oh no, I can't do a full. I'm trying to do a full. All the good stuff besides that one good thing, which is a full, which I can't do. I've loved getting back into that and seeing where my, my gymnastic skills are at over all these years. It's probably been like 10 years since I've last did gymnastics. And uh, let me let me tell you, it hurt my body a little bit. And uh, this body was aching the next day, but it's a great workout. I've also been doing a lot of Pilates, a lot of core strength activities. Gotta get that six pack going for the summer, you know? You know what I mean? Like, gotta get it in there. Oh no. I'm so close to being done and I just got it all over her face. Guys, we're not gonna talk about it. Like we're just gonna pretend when this is done is that's not there. And I just dipped this into my drinking water and now um, I have color in my drinking water. So that's nice too. Oh no, no, she looks so bad now. This is what happens when you, when you talk and you color at the same time. I'm gonna have to create a color that doesn't stain Miss Mannequin's skin. That's gonna be my next venture. Just 
color for mannequins. Oh, and lastly, I want to just tell you guys, I've been developing so, so many products, and this year, X Mondo is about to have a moment. It's hopefully going to be in a store near you very soon, and oh my god, I just keep getting more fucking color on her face. Oh no. Look what I just did. Look how bad this is. Damn. Uh, I was so close to getting through this without any color on her fucking face. Yeah, we have so many products coming for you. Hair care, hair color, like, oh, and these products I've been working on for so long, like year and a half, almost two years for some of them. And they're just really innovative, great products that I'm super, super proud of and excited for you guys to see. So if you want to see those drops happen as they happen, make sure, <laughs> I sigh. Make sure you check out X Mondo Hair and X Mondo Color on Instagram. Save those coins and get ready for how major these products are, including this one. I am just so excited to give you guys the hair of your motherfucking dreams and hopefully enhance your confidence. There's just so much to come for X Mondo, like so much innovation, so many interesting products that you've never seen before from any hair care brand. And I'm just so passionate about the products I'm creating and the things I'm doing with the brand, the campaigns I've shot for the brand. Everything is just really coming together and becoming exactly what I envisioned when I founded the brand four or five years ago now. So I'm just so excited to show you guys everything I'm working on and it's gonna be good. It already is good, but it's gonna be great. It's gonna be f incredible. I'm gonna let this process for 20 minutes, as you do with X Mono Color, and then I'm gonna rinse it off, not shampoo it, rinse it heavily, put a little makeup on her, style her up, and close out this video and show you the final look and how and sickening these jewel tone colors are. Yeah! My favorite part of the whole video. I love this part. I love this part. I love this part. All right, this will feel like one second to you, but it'll feel like forever for me. So I'll see you then. <laughs> I'm back. Are you ready to see the final look? Miss Manny Quinn has never looked more fierce in her mother life. In three, two, one, cue the montage. Oh my God. Was I lying when I told you if these were gonna be the most beautiful, most fabulous, brightest colors you've ever seen in your entire life? No, I wasn't. And I delivered. I am obsessed with the look I created. Oh, the amethyst in the bangs. Oh my God, the amber underneath of the rotolite. Oh my God, that combo is amazing. Please try it at home. Oh my God. God, I'm obsessed. Garnet, oh, beautiful. The sapphire, beautiful. Everything, I just can't, it came together and created this majestic creation of color and sexiness. I actually love the application that I did, even though I was talking the entire time and completely distracted. The pattern I did, I actually really enjoy, and I'm gonna do that again in the future. It's kind of sickening. Like, I love how the pink is only on that very small top part of her head, but it makes a big impact. It's super sexy and beautiful. If you wanna shop any of the five new Jewel Tone X Mondo colors, you can do so with the links right down below, or go to X xmondohair.com. I'm so excited to see what you guys create with these five new magical colors. Like seriously, that is the best part. I want to see what you do, not what I do. I want to see you. You. That's all for today, guys. It was great seeing you again. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And make sure you check out me everywhere else. I'm on every social platform, so I'll be there. And um, I'll see you when I see you. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Ew, that's such an ugly heart. Whatever, you get it.